Hey, and welcome to the Revenge of the Show. This one's a little late. I got home from work really late. I was too tired. I watched it. Too tired to get in front of a camera. Anyway, I hope that you like and subscribe to this channel. I had a, did a video the other day uh, on Dune 2. I did a review on it. Also, there's a listing of all the IMAX theaters that you could go to see it on, on real film. So check it out. I'll give you a little bit of information and I'll tell you how I liked it. So this is episode seven of Masters of the Air. And, you know, just to say a little thing about something, I haven't been watching my normal, like World War II type of channels, uh, because I don't want to give any, you know, I don't want to get any ideas from them. But just to let you know, you know, the certain channels that I watch is the National World War II Museum. It's a great channel, it's a great museum. I've never been there, I want to be there one day. WW2TV, really, really great info, World War II info. He's all over the place with it in Europe and the Pacific. Um, then uh, the Unauthorized History of the Pacific War. Uh, boy, they, they, they just did a great thing on Palu, uh, you know, that, that battle. It's a three episode thing. And uh, Greg's Airplanes and Automobiles. Um, he basically talks about airplanes. I mean, he could see cars, but when he does airplanes, he does a great job. Did a whole big P-47 thing that is fabulous to watch. So back to this, this episode, which focuses on, I think it's a March 6th bombing of Berlin. Uh, so 672 to 702 bombers made it to Berlin. Uh, not quite clear on that. 69 were lost and 11 fighters were lost. Um, the Army Air Force claimed 179 or 160 airplanes, depends what you read. Uh, they launched 819 bombers that day. This is Black Monday, they call it. It's the a, it's a beginning of big week. Um, so, and 944 fighters were also launched that day. P-47s, P-51s. Uh, I want to get into a little bit of a thing towards like the P-47s and, and Greg's automotive or airplane thing. He makes a really good case for it where, you know, the, the, the bomber mafia was like, we're just going to use these bombers. we got all these guns. They probably could have put drop tanks on P-47s way earlier. Uh, those would have been two 75-gallon tanks. I think later on in the war, uh, you know, you could carry... Uh, 165 gallon drop tanks, like two of them, but Bomber Mafia, as some people have called it, did not want to go for that. And later on, the P-51s came in there and they carried them further. I mean, not much further than a drop tank P-47, and P-47s could take, you know, they could strafe the ground really well, P-51s couldn't. Anyway, this raid was carried out with B-17s in the second uh, division uh, s section was B-24s, I believe. Uh, so the 100th itself lost, a, lost 15 airplanes. That's 500 crewmen. And they claimed 26 airplanes that they shot down. Now that whole, uh, we're going to get, the, this, this episode also deals with what Doolittle wanted to change and, and Doolittle's tactics. Look at that dog. Uh, Doolittle wanted to get rid of the Luftwaffe, and his idea was, hey, if you see the fighter, if you see the enemy out there, you see the Luftwaffe, go after them. It's like, don't worry about the bombers. They really, really wanted to get, get at it with that. And this episode also deals with, you know, you make it to 25 missions, that's, you're, you could go home. Uh, then they changed it. 30. The uh, first year, the crews, 89% of them were lost. I mean, that first year. 11 to 17% of the crews that made it to 25 missions made it to the Lucky Bastards Club. And you would get this certificate that I'm showing here right now. Now, late in 44, they increased it to 35. So this mission, I mean, it really goes to the heart of, you know, it's like, when you made it to 25, it was a big deal. And Rosenthal, I mean, it's, it's, he became something, I mean, it's a special thing in this moment and I can't give it away, but it really shows what this man 
was like. So in this, this, uh, this same raid, a uh, guy named Lieutenant John C. Morgan, he's a Medal of Honor recipient. He was shot down, he was with the 93rd F uh, F uh, Bomber Group, but he was shot down. This is his, the actual picture of his plane going down. He became a POW and he's the first Medal of Honor uh, winner to be captured by the Germans. Uh, I don't know, you know, what happened in, you know, the Pacific Theater, that might not be the same case, but in the European Theater it was the first time. And it goes about saying, you see a couple of people that returned from a mission and they were, you know, the French helped them get out and the underground helped them get out. There's one guy named Chuck Yeager who was shot down and helped out by the underground as well. Usually you had to go home, but somehow Jaeger convinced the powers to be to let him go back into combat, which they did. That was so freaking rare, it was unbelievable. So uh, the Luftwaffe, or, it, just in March itself, they lost 300 pilots, uh, a lot of airplanes, but pilots, more importantly, the pilots, because they can't replace them. We were replacing guys like crazy, we were replacing airplanes like crazy, but they could not do that. Um, so. Was Doolittle right? You know, it's controversial, but uh, you know, it's what happened. And you know, this is the route you're gonna get attacked. We're gonna take down the Luftwaffe. Cause in 44, the reason why I went up to 35 is the Luftwaffe wasn't really around anymore. Uh, we took care of them pretty good. Um, anyway, I think it's a really good episode. Uh, it's not a, Greatest episode, but it, it, it's a good episode. You get some good information in this episode. Uh, this this show is really, you know, it's sticking to a lot of a lot of real things that happen, and it's just like Band of Brothers, The Pacific, and this top notch stuff. I'm still liking it. Um, some people might not. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, but uh, that's my opinion. But I do like a lot of the facts that they do give this in here, and I think they do a really good job with, with the people that they portray in the show. I think they do them justice. I think they do the, the Air Force justice, uh, the 100th Bomb Group justice. Uh, uh, I'm looking forward to the next episode. Oh, and really quick, it does go to Stalag uh, 3, um, and they do talk about the Great Escape a little bit. And I'm glad they didn't make these guys escape from the great, from the, the prison camp because no Americans were actually involved in the Great Escape. Uh, the Americans and the British were separated before that happened. So the movie, which has Steve McQueen in it and a bunch of other Americans in it, there was no Americans there, but they needed a big actor. And so Steve McQueen was one of the biggest at the time. So that's why they used him. But you get a little bit of what POW life was like in Germany in World War II. Uh, better be a German prisoner than a Japanese prisoner. You're really likely to die if you were in a Japanese prison. Uh, thanks again. Like and subscribe, and bye bye